Kia ora, telofa, malele, bula and welcome to Season 8, Episode 56 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a sunny and bright Wednesday morning, 28 February 2024. Coming to you with tons of anisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent. In Rugby Union at the HSBC SBNS Los Angeles Sevens this weekend, women's competition Pool A includes back-to-back world champions, the Black uh, Ferns Sevens, who defeated France 1914 in the Vancouver Finals, along with Fiji, Brazil and South Africa. Pool B features uh, France, Australia, Ireland and Japan, while Pool C comprises Canada, USA, Spain and Great Britain. In the men's uh, competition, Pool A, Argentina, the reigning champions from Vancouver, Vancouver, have been drawn alongside Ireland, Spain and South Africa. Pool B will see the All Black Sevens who lost to Argentina in the Vancouver Finals, competing against USA, Samoa and Australia. France, who uh, came third in Vancouver, headlining Pool C against former Rugby Sevens powerhouse Fiji, Great Britain and Canada. In Rugby League, are you ready for the NRL Las Vegas extravaganza? The Roosters have left Angus Crichton out of their 17 with Sua Wong and Sitili Tuponiwa in the starting uh, back row. The Broncos have left veteran Corey Oates out of their 17 with young gun Danny Mariner on the wing. Meanwhile, Luke Brooks starts for Manly at 5'8", and Cody Walker has been named to lead the Rabbitohs, fully recovered from injury, calling the shots alongside Lockton Ilias on the, in the halves. Jacob Gagai will make his NRL debut on the wing, while Richie Kenner and Isaiah Tass make up the centre combination in the absence of Jack Whitten suspended and Campbell Graham injured. In sports biz, the Golden State Warriors have given their four-time NBA champion head coach, Steve Kerr, a two-year contract extension worth U.S. $35 million, according to ESPN. Now signed through 2026, Kerr's annual salary is more than the U.S. $15 million per season. The Heat are paying Eric Spolestra, who has the largest head coach contract in the NBA by total value. In football, Everton's penalty for breaching Premier League financial rules has been reduced from 10 points to 6 following an appeal, giving them a major boost in their relegation battle. The original ruling, the biggest points deduction in Premier League history, left the Toffees 19th on the EPL table, fighting to avoid the drop. But their successful appeal has lifted Everton to 15th place, 5 points clear of the relegation zone with 12 games remaining. In combat sports, pretty boy, Ryan Garcia wants to meet Sean O'Malley on the UFC champion's home turf. O'Malley has repeatedly teased a crossover boxing fight against uh, Garcia or Javanta Tank Davis, but Garcia wants to save O'Malley the trip. The former WBC lightweight world champion revealed this week that he reached out to UFC head honcho Dana White for a fight against the UFC bantamweight champion O'Malley. I've already sent text messages to Dana, Garcia told the MMA Hour on Monday. I've already got people who are connected to Dana to ask him. Let's do this. I'll come to UFC. Pay me a bag, I'm there. I'm down to do it after Devin Haney. Garcia is scheduled to challenge Devin Haney for the WBC Super Lightweight title on 20 April 2024. And that's a wrap. For TaveOvalSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all to mas for all your love and support.